really, really enjoy this one. Uh... Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection, or we just talk about particular uh, fragrances as I get them. So there is a new house, and it is called Fort Manly that I've gotten interested in, and I promise you, I feel like this has gotten me in a chokehold. Uh, so I do have two that I'm going to review. I'm going to review one today, and then you'll probably see another one next week. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari. You can follow me on all my social medias. Uh, initially, I'll say start off on Instagram. On there, I do a lot of lives and chats and so forth and so on. But to all my returning subscribers, you know how I feel about you. So let's jump into what it is that I got from that line. That sounds interesting to you. Stay tuned. All right, so the very first one that I got my hands on, I had had a sample of it uh, for the longest. Um, I don't know if you've ever been in my shoes where you find a fragrance, you fall in love with it, but you just can't seem to get around to buying it, right? Well, that fragrance for me was Amber Absolute. Uh, and it is a bit of a glare, so I'm going to try to come in close enough where I can remove the gear, glare. This is actually in a new bottle. I think they used to be in like a long black bottle, and I'll put that bottle here. But uh, this is the new packaging. This one is so good. Oh, my God. And I thought it was just this one, right? Because they have like 40, uh, 40 Thieves. And I liked it, but I wasn't really in love with it. So I had heard about the line, but... Oh, Amber Absolute. Amber Absolute is gorgeous. The notes in this one is plum, black currant, rose, amber, benzoin, latamin, vetiver, musk, and cedar. Mm. It's just so sexy. This is such a great fragrance. I love it. I love it. It has a um has a bit of a booziness to it. I'm not quite sure where I'm getting that from because it's not in the notes, right? You know, it just smells like it could be boozy. This one is perfectly well-rounded for it to be a unisex fragrance. I think this would be gorgeous on a on a male as much as I enjoy it on my own skin. But what I often find myself wanting to pair this one with is Into the Night. Into the Night, which is Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvet Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. When you pair those together, it just gives this, this almost like evening type sexiness to it. Yeah, see that Mocha Musk comes in and amps up the plum note. And then, of course, you know, it's going to enhance it because of the amber. There's both of them have amber in it and both of them have the rose. So just pairing those together with being that they both have that same note, it's going to make it great. I really, really enjoy this one. Uh, I did end up getting the 50 mil and I kind of feel like I probably should have gotten a larger bottle. I'm not sure if they have a larger bottle for it or not, but it's the plum. It's the plum note. That plum note is so predominant. It's so in your face. It's so right up front. So you're going to have that fruity berryness in the top. And then you're going to have the rose. But the rose to me is not like a, a old lady rose or what they say, an older rose note. It's more of amber and benzoin and latamin. I love this one. This is what started it all. And if you can get into this line, I say get into it this is great all right we talked about amber absolute so this is an, a line that i just got into if you have this fragrance please tell me about it in the comments i would love to know if you are in love with this fragrance as much as i am because i think this is amazing let us know about it um I'm, it's one of those fragrances and i hardly ever say this 
but this particular line i find that you don't really have to layer with anything like i like to layer so i'm the layering person right but that amber absolute or many other fragrances that come from this particular line i feel are standalone do you have a line like that do you have a line that you just cannot find them trying to layer another fragrance with it but like I said, I do use the Into the Night as my base on my skin, right? So I'm spraying it on my skin. But perfume-wise, I wear this by itself. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This one was short and sweet. Uh, getting straight to the point because I had to talk about it. I got it and I had to discuss it. And I will see you in the next video.